Well, folks, left wing policy is all fun and games until it actually affects you. That's what New York Mayor Eric Adams is learning about immigration. The Biden administration is now considering forcing some migrant families who enter the country without authorization to remain near the border in Texas while awaiting asylum screening, effectively limiting their ability to travel within the United States. Administration officials have been considering that idea as a way to stem recent increases in the number of migrant families crossing the southern border, which reportedly reached an all-time high last month. They're calling it the Remain in Texas plan, which is it's clearly motivated by an attempt to stop all these people from going to New York and Chicago and blue enclaves where all the mayors are getting increasingly pissed off. So it, it, I love this. So basically, Joe Biden has an open border policy that is being greenlit by federal judges, by the way, because Texas tried to build a barrier in the middle of the Rio Grande to prevent illegal migrants from crossing the border. And a U.S. judge ordered Texas to move those buoys from the middle of the Rio Grande. This is to an embankment on the Texas side of the river, which, of course, makes it a lot easier for people to illegally enter the country. So the Biden administration is facilitating the entry of people into the country illegally. And then they're saying, and by the way, you have to keep them in Texas. They can't go to any blue areas. We have, you have to keep them right there in Texas. You have to suffer. I mean, this is just, you want to talk about malicious governance, malicious and nasty governance. That would be the peak of it. And by the way, it's clearly a response to Democrats who are becoming increasingly agitated about the fact that they're perfectly happy with open borders so long as they don't have to pay the cost of it. Just like everybody, all these rich white Democrats who are in favor of defund the police because they live in protected areas of the United States, live in gated communities and in favor of defund the police. It's just like that. All these people in blue cities and they're like, I love open borders. This is a sanctuary city. Please don't come here. We don't want to give you sanctuary. Please don't come here. My favorite side-by-side -side of the day yesterday. So Eric Adams, this is a flashback, 2021. Eric Adams talking about the magic of illegal migrants. When you think about it, uh, the days I spent uh, with our essential employees, a substantial number of them were uh, undocumented. Uh, they were delivering our Uber Eats. Uh, they were stocking our stores. They were out in the streets keeping our city running. We have to expand uh, NYC care to make sure everyone has health care. We need to make sure we have proper translation services in our schools. They keep our, our city running, says Eric Adams, circa 2021. Uh, fast forward two years. Here's Eric Adams yesterday. We're getting no support on this national crisis. And we're receiving no support. And let me tell you something, New Yorkers. Never in my life have I had a problem that I did not see an ending to. I don't see an ending to this. I don't see an ending to this. This issue will destroy New York City. Guys, that's that. Wow. This, this issue will, the migrant crisis will destroy. I thought that this was an amazing place for me. Nothing more fun than watching left-wing policies actually have their predictable consequences and then watching the same people who advocated for those policies realize how bad those policies actually were. Have you ever invested in like a nice jack, shoes, maybe a nice dinner? Well, your betting shouldn't be any different. I mean, you wear that suit like, I don't know, once a week. You wear those shoes maybe every day, but you're not in the shoes, like the nice shoes that you spent a lot of money on. You're not in them like, eight hours a night, every single night. Start investing in your best sleep with Bull & Branch. They make the only sheets that get softer with every single wash. Bull & Branch sheets are made from the finest 100% organic cotton threads on the planet. They feel buttery to the touch. They're super breathable. They're perfect for both cooler and warmer months. Their signature hem sheets were made with luxurious threads. They're made without pesticides, formaldehyde, or other harsh chemicals. Best of all, Bull & Branch gives you a 30-night risk-free trial with free shipping and returns on all orders. You're not gonna wanna return them. How good are Bull & Branch products? Okay, so Bull & Branch makes this Afghan blanket. It is so good that I literally travel with it. When I'm on the road, I put it in my suitcase and I travel with it because it is so comfortable. And basically, I, I use it to sleep better when I'm on the road. It's that it's that good. Sleep better at night with Bull & Branch sheets. Get 15% off your first order when you use promo code Shapiro at bullandbranch.com. That's B-O-L-L -L and branch, B-O-L-L-A-N-D, branch.com. Promo code Shapiro. Exclusions apply. See site for details. Very hard to live a healthy lifestyle these days. There's a lot of unhealthy food out there. There's some of us, like me, I don't like vegetables. I think they're evil. But I still need the nutrition to be gotten from things like vegetables, one of God's blights on humanity. This is why I rely on Balance of Nature fruits and veggies. They're a great way to make sure that you're getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Through Balance of Nature's advanced cold vacuum process, the vitamins, minerals, and phytonutrients of the fruits and veggies are preserved. So you can get that vital nutrition in each capsule. Balance of Nature is a whole food supplement with no additives, fillers, extracts, synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar. The only thing in their capsules is pure fruits and veggies. Balance of Nature sent a bunch of their product down to the studio for my team to try. 
We all love them. We've been using them. It's making my team healthier, making them feel better. I was really excited to find out the product is certified kosher. So I myself can attest to the product. It is an excellent product. Go to balanceofnature.com. Use promo code Shapiro for 35% off your very first order as a preferred customer. That's balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro. Get 35% off your first preferred order. Again, you need nutrition weaponized, basically, so that you can make sure that you're healthy. It's hard to get all those fruits and veggies in. Balance of Nature helps you do it. Go to balanceofnature.com. Promo code Shapiro. 35% off your first preferred order. Now, meanwhile, the economy continues to slow. I know that they're telling you that's not the case. Again, if you operate in the business sphere, you already know this. Every stat that's coming right now is a stat that's rooted in consumer spending. Consumer spending is not what drives economic growth. What drives economic growth is people producing new products, new innovations, things that are cheaper and easier, things that are better and more efficient. You know when that happens? When businesses invest. You know what businesses are not doing right now because they're scared of where the economy is going? Investing. Money is tightening up. It's not as loose. People are being a lot more meticulous about where they put their money. And by the way, that's going to have downstream effects. Walmart, according to the Wall Street Journal, is now paying some new store workers less than it would have even three months ago, a sign that employers are seeking to cut labor costs as the once hot market for hourly staff cools. The country's largest private employer changed its wage structure for hourly workers in mid-July, according to documents reviewed by the Wall Street Journal and Walmart employees under the new structure. Most new hires will earn the lowest possible hourly wage for that store. In the past, some new hires, such as those who collect items for online orders, would have made slightly more than the other new staff members, such as cashiers. The wage structure change came after Walmart and other large employers have for years steadily raised wages and added benefits to attract workers in a tight labor market. So the market is starting to flatten out. People are not going to pay as much, but those prices are still inflated, which means that the prices are going to start going to have they're going to have to come down when that happens. People are going to start losing jobs. The, The gravity still applies here. Meanwhile, health insurance costs are taking the biggest jumps in years, according to The Wall Street Journal. Health insurance costs are climbing at the steepest rate in years, with some projecting the biggest increase in more than a decade will wallop businesses and their workers in 2024. Costs for employer coverage are expected to surge around 6.5% for 2024. These are bad economic numbers, and they're because of Joe Biden and his inflationary policies. So what would you rather run an election on? That stuff? Or would you rather run an election on whether Donald Trump is mean and nasty or whether he's the greatest patriot who ever lived? The more you're talking about Trump, the less you're talking about Biden. It is a simple It is a simple matter of mutually exclusive time use. You can't talk about both Trump and Biden. There ain't the time in a campaign. Either people are focused on one candidate or they are focused on the other candidate, which again, brings up the fact that the legal troubles, unfair as they are, the Democrats are now ladling on top of Donald Trump. They're designed to have an effect and they will have an effect. Just because they're bad, just because they're unfair does not mean they will not have an effect. They absolutely will have an effect because people are talking about this stuff as they will. Then, you know what they're not talking about? Joe Biden being awful at his job. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah, me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 